All right, before we go, uh, because uh, this is the kind of insight you don't get anywhere else. We get a little free form. We can talk about this stuff, and Tom had done a lot of research on the private versus public thing, and uh, I'm sure we'll talk about it again. However, um, we're at the point of the basketball season now, which is what's hot right now, and that is the fact that these transfers, who have to sit out till January, are ready to play. What impacts are some of these transfers going to have on some of these boys? Basketball? Well, you take a look at Detroit Western, who hasn't who's already number one. really good. Already, yeah, like they need them. But yeah. They're just going to get better. I yeah. mean, with the two transfers from Mount Clemens in particular, Josh McFally, who many people in the city were telling me he was their best player during the summer, and there were a lot of PSL coaches that were, you know, just in somewhat of awe of his abilities and what he'll bring to Detroit Western. But there's there's a lot of other schools. Look at Dakota. Uh, you have Jermaine Jackson Jr. Uh, and Charles Penn and, uh, and being eligible. Other transfers from Mount Clements, if you're not familiar with what they did last year, losing in the quarterfinals to Flint Beecher. Um, and uh, it was Flint Beecher, right? It yes, was Flint yes, Beecher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they have a third transfer, too, also from Mount Clemens, but he pl played on the junior varsity. I'm not familiar with that young man. But you also have to look at a, a school like Oak Park getting seven transfers um, who will be eligible in the second semester. So you're going to have a lot of different things going on in, in the Detroit area and really throughout the state, and too. And, and it's the same with girls basketball, too. There's a number of transfers that will be eligible the second semester as well. And let's not forget the, um, oh, the fine stories are, and work that uh, Scott Bernstein's done on the Billy Thomas situation. He will soon be eligible, the word I have it, at North Farmington, and that will change the uh, they're dynamics. They're already really they're good. Nine and zero oh going yeah. into the weekend. Um, yeah, they're playing very well. You wonder, too, uh, in, in you look, you know, talk about the transfers like a McFally, for example, at Western. And he practiced all summer long with the with the team at Western. And I was talking to Chuck Albright, the assistant coach there. I said, you know, how they how's the transfers fitting in? Because sometimes they can be disruptive. You have a, a flow going. You have a, a you know a, your rotation in order and all of a sudden you know kids become eligible and you change your rotation he said there's not going to be any problem with that they fit in right well with everybody else so that's a big concern I think even I, I, that's the unknown I think at North Farmington is Billy Thomas really hasn't practiced with this team what will he bring you know to the team other than his scoring will they keep their continuity yeah we shall see I think uh Truly, some of these teams are going to get better and really maybe get some real separation going. Uh, was Mount Clemens B or C? They were C last year. Okay, so was that consortium that they played? It was consortium. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It right. was. It was the year before. Beecher was the year before. That's right, exactly. Thanks for correcting me. No, exactly. Me. So it, was, it was running around in my head. Oh, that's funny. But it shows Beecher you. Beecher was down last year. It was consortium. Beecher, yeah, 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 it was at West Bloomfield, too. But, and yeah. it was a great game. Right. I mean, no it, was, it was, was another one of those games where Mount Clemens could have won right. like the, the year before. So Just finished that sh that that's how close it is in basketball. So well, like. sometimes, yeah, especially with Mount Clements and you know the the power that they had there yeah. with Jermaine Jackson as coach. Yeah. You know, they lose to Beecher the year before Beecher wins it. They lose yeah. to Consortium last year. Consortium yeah. wins it. So that, that's how it is sometimes. They yeah. just, you know, that's happened in Saginaw with Arthur Hill oh, playing yeah. Saginaw many times in the districts. The winner out of that district often will get to the Breslin Center and the and, winner championship. And we've seen it in the PSL too. There's a lot of times your quarterfinal matchups are the best matchups of the entire basketball tournament. You know, I remember some of those Pershing Romulus games that oh. were excellent at Callahan excellent. Hall. Absolutely. Okay, so that is the buzz for this week. We'll bring you another one. We'll keep these in rotation. Uh, by all means, you can connect with us on Facebook or Twitter, and you can bring up topics you'd like to discuss or comment on what we talked about right here. And we'll see you next time right here on The Buzz.